I swear, I am the best ex-boyfriend in the world. All where, my ex-girlfriends. Where, where exactly does the camera, because I'm waiting to find out where does the camera no, I, come I, in? I, I had to, I had, like, to, I had, to, I had, to I had to make the romance yeah, come. I, I, so I my, get so it. We, it, we it, all get it. It actually starts right now. So my ex-girlfriend's mom said, you know, Johnny, I made your favorite dish, uh, Haitian rice and beans and turkey wings. So why don't you come over and, you know, Melinda's away at, at, at Stony Brook University. And I'm like, awesome. So I go over there and she converted the den, the living room den, into a bedroom. And the food was there, but she said, Johnny, I don't know what you're going through, but tonight you sleep here. And then uh, she closed the door and I began to like uh, cry a little bit. And I said, uh, I said, God, you know, I don't know what you want me to do, but tomorrow morning, when I wake up, if you give me one idea, I swear I'll be the best at it. But if tomorrow comes and you give me no idea, I'm gonna go roll with my people, you know, in Jesus' name. So the next morning, <laughs> the next morning when I woke up and I looked up to the sky, you all may think I'm crazy, I saw a camera turning just like this. Is this in the clouds? In the air, suspended, yeah, really? like a camera, like floating. And I was like, I saw the camera and I went to grab it and my hand went right through it. And Did you ever have any interest in photography before that moment? Well, well, well you know when you're a kid, when you're a kid you sell candy for the school? Mm -hmm. I was always um, saving up enough points and having my mom try to sell all the candy yep. so I can get the most candy so I could buy these little cameras that the flash was this big and you use it, it would die and the next one would die. So I was always like, Photography was, God had implanted it in me from very early. I just didn't know. You but, know? You, but you weren't a person who were, like, as a kid, you weren't thinking to yourself, when I get to be no. an adult, I, I mm. want to be the best photographer no. in the world. I asked God for one idea. And that's what you saw the next yeah. morning you woke up. So Amazing. I said, I said, God, if you give me one more sign, you want me to be a photographer, just give me one more sign. I'm like trying to listen, I'm like, oh God, talk to me. And, uh, I didn't, I didn't hear no, nothing, no burning bush, but a peace came over me. That's the Holy Spirit. And when I felt that peace, I ran out to tell my friends, I want to be a photographer. Oh boy, I can't wait. And I got a job working in a warehouse and a friend of mine gave me a, a book by Anthony Robbins called um, Unlimited Power. And I began to read that book. I, I living in the car, homeless, with, with, a, with a little flashlight, reading the book in the middle of the night. And I came across a chapter, and this goes to the photography. It said, whatever you're doing right now, stop and envision where you want to be in five years. So here I am with this new job in a factory, still living in a car, delivering pizza and a home health day. And I stopped the button, and I'll never forget, the boss was German. He screamed at the top of his lungs, who stopped the conveyor belt? And I just looked at the wall, and I just saw private jets traveling to Europe traveling to Africa, working with Puffy, working with Jay, meeting a president, hanging out with models, becoming friends with music producers. I mean, I was just fantasizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he cursed me out. Who told you to turn this off? And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. And I turned the machine back on. Fast forward, in 1997, that same year I was homeless. It, 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 because the, I want to know the first camera you bought. I actually bought a uh, Pentex from my boy Jose Santana. Film? It, um, yes, it was film. Really? So and you I, and it got, and got it robbed too. It got stolen. Is that the camera? You know, because before that, obviously, you were not a photographer. No. You were not. You know, this was this was a new revelation yeah, that came to yeah, you. Yeah. How long did it take you to get good and really nice with this camera? Well, just and to, <laughs> when 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 you got this camera. I know you had the revelation, you saw it in the sky. Mm -hmm. Now that you physically have it in your hand, mm -hmm. did you say this is it? That, like like that, what I saw in the sky the minute, is real. The minute I saw the camera in the air, I, I feel that I felt the presence of God. And within that same year, homeless, living in a car, 1996, seven, by the end of that year, I made $99,000. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.